What's up YouTube, it's your boy Coaster Freak Jr. here and today I'm coming at you guys with an El Torto update video but before we get into the video I want to say thank you so much to everyone that has recently subscribed to my channel. We reached a hundred subscribers in our first week of posting and you guys absolutely are killing it in the comment section and the likes and the views so I appreciate the love and support and just the passion that you guys have in interacting with my videos. Shout out to my dog barking in the back background okay let's get into the El Torto video there's been a lot of rumors and a lot of news going around the internet about El Torto so it's time for an update as you guys know El Torto recently closed due to an unfortunate accident that happened where we got an update yesterday saying that the accident was caused because El Torto is structurally compromised and um that basically there is a pothole yes a pothole in el torto structure between the first and second drop now there are some rumors none of this part right here is confirmed but there are some rumors that um there may have been a chance that six flags knew about this pothole and the maintenance team left it untouched and this is actually pothole has actually existed since the last accident that happened 14 months ago now i do not know if that's true i'm not saying it is or it is not true but that is just one of the rumors that are going around out there so there is a possibility that six flags actually knew about this pothole and did not do anything about it and if that is true if that is true that is a horrible thing by the six flags maintenance team but fortunately no one was seriously injured which is um very great news and i'm glad that everyone has recovered from their minor injuries and that there were no life altering or long lasting injuries that occurred in during the accidents now it's time to get a little deeper into what six flags can do next moving forward with el torto now obviously they could opt to go ahead and just fully close it and bye bye el torto we'll never see it again which would be a very sad sad way to put an ending to such a great roller coaster that's been around for so long now and given riders so many awesome experiences at the park but i do not think that six flags is going to opt to um close el toto for good because for one if you close it for good and you tear it down and then you decide to build a different roller coaster in its place that's going to be very 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 expensive and i just don't see them going down that road because right now let's be honest attendance has not been the highest that um six flags is usually seen at this park so i don't think that they have the budget honestly to do such a project especially when attendance is so low so what is a way that they can up attendance and get um the general public and coaster coaster enthusiasts alike coming back into the park well now it's time for the juicy part you already know what time it is it's time to give you that disclosure that none of this none of this is confirmed in pure speculation but i think what six flags is gonna do with el torto is close it down and hit it with that rmc treatment baby like we are getting rmc el torto i do not know <coughs> <coughs> excuse me guys i'm sorry i got a little too excited <clears throat> we do not know what el toro's name is going to be changed to or the theming but i'm pretty sure at this point it would be the most cost efficient option and a good way of bringing general public and coaster enthusiasts alike back into the park would be to hit it with the rmc treatment not only would this be the greatest rmc roller coaster in the world it's going to be the number one roller coaster in the world yes you heard me right just as when steel vengeance opened up for cedar point everyone was giving it the crown for the best rmc and possibly the best roller coaster ever built we are hopping on that el torto rmc train because this coaster not only would be massive it would give you so many different unique elements that you just would not see i mean not would not but you do not see on still vengeance now i think still vengeance possibly still has a chance to be the greatest rmc ever and you know if you are on that train of it being the greatest roller coaster ever it can still hold that title unofficially um there's always a chance that this doesn't get rmc but i honestly do not see any other logical path that they could go down with el toro now i know that it has a lot of fans 
and it has a very big community around it so it would be sad to see it get arm seed and chains but it would still get to live on just like mean streak has lived on as steel vengeance in a new unique and more better ride experience way for everyone um so would el toro i do think again steel vengeance is going to have more air time and it's going to be i think steel vengeance is going to be more of an intense faster paced roller coaster than el toro's arm c treatment but i think um el toro is going to have a bigger drop it's going to be faster than steel vengeance not by a lot but bigger drop faster for marketing reasons of course and i think it's going to have more intense moments as far as elements go but not intense moments as far as pacing goes now before we wrap this video up i do want to show you guys a quick concept video of what arm c el toro could possibly look like all credits to great events or geek for this concept make sure you go check their channel out after this So that's pretty much my predictions for what Six Flags would do with El Toro since their most recent accidents as they have been occurring sadly and unfortunately have been occurring back to back now. I think that it's going to get the RMC treatment and it's going to be faster and taller than Steel Vengeance obviously for marketing reasons and it possibly could give Steel Vengeance a run for its money as far as the title of best RMC roller coaster goes, but I think this is going to be a great move for coaster enthusiasts, for Six Flags, and for the general public all alike and involved. So I think everyone will enjoy it, but we will be sad to see El Toro close for good as we know it. Um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and also comment below your thoughts and your opinions on the Atorto situation. And if you think I'm wrong, possibly on my speculation, and think that Six Flags would decide to do something else besides RMC it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. It's your boy Coaster Freak Jr., and I'm out.